Hey, hey, shout out. One, I want to give all praise and glory to you. How up by Shima Shah, by Shima Kakudash, the bondage of the apostles and the elders of Jim Master Rule. Well, peace and blessing to the Akims out there fighting, doing the work with truth and sincerity. Brother Bonds Pod, man, just, uh, this Tuesday camp, Lord, we're like to upload it tonight. I'll have a rock this out tomorrow. Just a quick lesson, real quick. I took a picture of the sign, the spirit. I was out here just looking at this Hebrew sign right here where it says signs of uh, true Hebrews and I was reading the sign and it's a few, few quick scriptures man to prove that you so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans we all went in captivity of some sort and um, this is a few scriptures I'm going to read through this list signs of Hebrews you know and if you fit one of these lists that's on this, on this poster board you're still in captivity you're an Israelite other nations come over here here and get above you We've been here for years. We, we helped build this country and we're still yet behind. We're a non prosperous nation. You wonder why we can't get together and build banks? Because these are signs of, right here, say signs of true, of true Hebrews. These are the curses that's going to befell these people, man. Now, we had this going on back in, um, like during the time of Black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Out in Oklahoma. And then what happened? So called white man came through and bombed that shit. So, man, you will never be, get together as a, as a prosperous people. You so called Negroes want to keep preaching and teaching that, man. So, the first one on here it says slavery and captivity. But you already know about what the book of Hebrews, I mean, the book of Deuteronomy says, Deuteronomy 2 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again because we fled to Egypt 70 AD to flee the Roman persecution. So that's why we ran into Africa. So that's why we fled to the interiors of Africa to blend in. Because if the people of the Lord were so-called white people, why would they blend in to Egypt when the people of Egypt and Africa was all dark-skinned people? If they were so-called white people, they couldn't have blended in with the people in that land. So they're talking about the people the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans at the time, man. And the Lord said, bring thee into Egypt. He said, bring us again, because Egypt means bondage. Bring us over into slavery again for breaking this law, statutes, and commandments. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Because from Egypt to, if you look on the map, if you look on the map over from, uh, from Israel to Egypt, you can walk from, from Israel to Egypt right now. So you don't need to take no ship from Israel to Egypt right now today because you can walk. So it's talking about another Egypt, spiritually called Sodom and Gomorrah, which is America. You see? To Egypt again with ships, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you, meaning to redeem us or buy us back or to help us out of the situation that we're in, man. You see what I'm saying? So that's that first one. There's a lot more to go into it as well, but that's the first one right there. Then the second one at the bottom, having no power to stand against your, having no power standing against their enemies. Here it is, you got Jake, remember Jake getting shot down by the cops. You got Jake getting shot down at home with a cell phone in his hand in his own backyard. You see what I'm saying? Trayvon Martin, you see what I'm saying? So there's no power that we have for us helping us out like like having no power to stand against the enemy because when the cop get behind you today when you driving shit man you, 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 you could be warrants free you know what i'm saying car lights tail lights everything intact you know what i'm saying you ain't speeding and shit you ain't smoking you ain't drinking and cop get behind your ass nigga you still straighten up you see what i'm saying it's another one exile into the lands of their enemies we've been scattered down to puerto rico you see what i'm saying america bulk of us America, all the uh, islands, Jamaica. We scattered all over the four corners of the planet, bro. So you so-called Negroes have been talking about y'all don't want to accept the fact that y'all Israelite. Nigga, these curses fish your black ass, man. What are you talking about, man? We scattered throughout the old people at the whole planet, which means that the so-called Jews that's over in their land today, they wasn't scattered abroad. They, they wasn't given the law, statutes, and commandments too. You see what I'm saying? So come on, man. What else can I read? What we got? Scattered among all nations. Of course, we scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. When you read the book of James, it'll tell you about that. Yeah, I'm walking right now. And uh, I'm trying to do something real quick. Put that out there. Spirit got on me to do it. And uh, what is it? Uh, 
a very sick and disease stricken people. Now, let me go to 20, I'm gonna go to 59, I think. Same scripture, same book. Okay, Deuteronomy 20 and 58. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law, See, he gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. You see? So he's saying if you don't observe, pay attention to Shamar, to guard, to keep guard, to give heed. If so, he's saying to a group of these people who, who he gave the law, statutes, and commandments to, if you don't give heed to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, thou mayest fear the glorious and fearful name the Lord of thy power, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and plagues of thy sea, even great plagues and of long countenance and sore sickness and of long countenance. Countenance means your face of a long face because of the plagues in hell that we catching. You see what I'm saying? This only fit one group of people, man. A blow, wonder, slaughter. That's the word plague, a blow, a strike, a beating. The most high beating I ask with all kind of diseases mentally and physically, man. As a people, you are a disease stricken people, man. You fucking niggas don't want to wake up to the fact that you Israelites, the most I go get rid of you niggas, man. This ain't no fucking game, man. Moreover, he will bring upon thee, meaning you, all these diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of. Because we, we, we saw the, the damn, we saw the works he did in Egypt. So he said, most I say, okay, y'all don't want to observe and do this here. I'm going to put all them plagues on your ass like I did in Egypt. Disease mean a disease in the body, man. That's why you're getting gonorrhea and syphilis and boil, boils and shit like that because we're diseased people. Uh, 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 what's the other one that says? Uh, hemorrhoids. They're calling hemorrhoids, but they're hemorrhoids, man. Come on, man. Jake, I'm pretty sure you niggas, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and went through that, some hemorrhoids in your life. So I'm reading this sign, man. Like I can say, slavery and captivity, having no power to stand against their enemies, exile into the lands of their enemies scattered among all nations the fucking come on man a very sick and disease stricken people at the bottom socially with other races high above them now let me go over to deuteronomy 28 let me go to 44 same book same chapter let me go to deuteronomy 28 and 44 he shall lead thee he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him he shall be head and thou shall be the tail so we ain't lending no money to these other nations the other nations lending us money man so the other nations come over here open their restaurants in the neighborhoods of you negroes latinos native americans catfish fried chicken joint and you wonder how they prospering and your ass been here the whole goddamn time and you ain't did nothing yet because I just read to you off this sign, the signs of a true of, uh, of, of, of Hebrews, okay, that the other nations come over here and they prosper, man. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we can't get ahead. We're non-prosperous people because it says right here, at the bottom socially with other nations above them. I just read it to you right there. Thou shall be the head, um, thou, no, no. Yeah, he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. We the tail and they the head. The other nations come over here. The, the, the other nations are the head and we the tail. When, when, when it's supposed to be the other way around. But just a quick lesson on this sign I took a picture of while we was out here on the highways and byways. I'm just going through these and lost the true knowledge of who they are and will be called by many scornful nickname other than Israel or Hebrew. You see, I can't, I can't think about that right now, right? That, that's what, that's why I call us niggas, spicks and jigaboos and tomahawks and things of that nature, man. You see what I'm saying? Because you lost the true knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Vashah. And that's why you see the men I hear, beginning with the apostles and elders, are proclaiming that, as it says in the book of Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah Jeremiah, you go out and proclaim this to the north so you backslide of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can wake up to who you are and come back, man. Packed into prison houses and jails. You, see, you already know what's the population of that. A non-prosperous people, I just talked about that now because of the curses and oppressed people by their enemies and uh, last but not least, very religious and members of all religions. You got Jake in every religion on the planet Earth. Hey, you even got some Jake that's fucking atheist. That, that's crazy. I'm going to read, well, yeah, that was it.
Yeah, man, this is a quick list. You know, we have been having the signs, <laughs> sign of true Hebrews. And I'm pretty sure all of these didn't fit every last one of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, some quick. Want you to get all of it if you can. Yeah, man. All this uh, playtime, it's, it's playtime been it been over with, man. It been over with when Yahweh Shah came on, uh, went on the cross for the sins of his people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and folks. I can remember now. Back when Pastor Harden was coming up and it started with them, playtime is over, man. It's been over. The most I done sent the preachers out here to tell you these things. And then look, if you can't get this, then it's not for you to get. Hey, the brother Bunce apart. You know, may the Lord bless you, brothers. We keep fighting faith and spirit and power of your howl. Bashima Abishai, Lord willing, hope that was edifying to the next time. Shalom.